In this video, we're going to take a look at coding. So coding allows us to simplify statistical calculations to make a new data set, which is easier to work with. So the coding will generally look something like y equals x minus a all over b. Now, normally a and b are given for you, but sometimes you might have to deduce those yourself. So what about the mean of the coded data here? So for the mean then, we get y bar is equal to x bar minus a all over b. And you can see pretty similar to what we had here. So then what about the standard deviation? So for the standard deviation then, what we get here, or the standard deviation of the coded data, we get sigma y is equal to sigma x all over b there. Okay, with sigma x, so with sigma x, being the standard deviation of original data. So that's the standard deviation. The standard deviation of original data. Okay. And there we have it. So that's all we really need there for our introduction to coding. So now let's take a look at a practice question for coding. Taking a look at this practice question here, then what we've got is a set of data values x, which are given below. So that's these values here. For part A, we're asked to code the data using y equals x minus 5 over 3. So what I need to do here is take each individual data value, 20, 47, 45, and so on, subtract 5, and then divide by 3. So for example, 20 minus 5 is 15, divide that by 3, and I get 5 there for my first data value, okay, for the coded data set. And clearly, I just need to repeat that for each individual data value here. So 47 minus 5 is 42, divide that by 3, and you'd get 14, okay? So what I'll do here is I'll just give the full data set here that you should get for the coded data set. So you should get 10, 16, 11, 13, 10, and 5 there. Okay, so that's the solution to part A, hopefully nice and straightforward. Now for part B, it says hence or otherwise calculate the mean of the coded data. So this is my coded data set. So to calculate the mean of the coded data, I need sigma y here, okay, the summation of the coded data set. That's going to be 5 plus 14 plus 10 and so on, all the way up to 5 here, okay, so that'll be my last term. And what you should get here then, if you just put this into your calculator, is 84. So sigma y is equal to 84. So for the mean of the coded data, that would be y bar. In that case, then it's just going to be 84 divided by the total sample size, which is 8. So I get 84 over 8, which gives me 10.5 there. Okay, so that's our solution to part B. And then for part C here, we have a little typo that should say part B. So using the solution to part B, find the mean of the original data. So where do we begin with this? Well, we've just deduced that the mean of the coded data was 10.5. So we know that y bar is equal to 10.5, okay? But we also know that we can express the mean here of the coded data set, y bar, as x bar minus a all over b, okay? And we know that a here is 5, b is 3. And we know that y bar is 10.5. So what we're doing now is just reversing this process, okay? So y bar is 10.5, and that's equal to x bar, minus a here, so that's minus five, and that's all over b, which is three. So what we've done here is we took our data points, we subtracted five, and then divided by three. So we're working backwards now, so I'm gonna times by three, and then add five, okay? So x bar here is equal, to 10.5 times by 3 and then add 5. Okay, so we're just solving for x bar essentially. And what you need to do here is just put this into your calculator. I've run out of room here at the bottom. What you should get then for x bar, if you put this into your calculator, is 36.5 there. Okay. Now obviously you can go and double check this. So work out the mean of this data set here and you'll find that you get the exact same. So x bar is equal to 36.5 there. Okay, and there we have it. So that's our solution to that question. And that brings us to the end of this video on coding. 
In the next video, we're going to take a look at exam revision for measures of location and spread.